lovely evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, part of the Seven Day Adventist uh, belief is that we are very supportive of the health of an individual. And so usually when we have evangelistic meeting, we have a topic concerning health. And so the pastor actually, Manu, has also told me you only have 10 minutes to talk about something that I feel that is important. So we're going to scroll through the the PowerPoint here, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them later, or ask your doctor. <laughs> okay, so the first, um, okay, so the topic that I've chosen to uh, talk about tonight is high blood pressure. High blood pressure is also called the silent killer. I, I really don't know how to use these things. Now, high blood pressure is a, is a major problem um, everywhere in the world. About 600 million people worldwide, worldwide affected. 3 million people die every year. So it's really important. About every three people, there's one person that has high blood pressure. Um, high blood pressure, the most dangerous thing about high blood pressure is that you usually don't know that you have high blood pressure. Sometimes there's no signs and symptoms. The first sign you have is usually you have a stroke. And if you survive your stroke, then you know you have high blood pressure. If you have a heart attack, it's the same thing. High blood pressure affects men, women, um, any nationality. So it's just the, the blood pressure does not pick certain people to affect. <coughs> so like I said before, most of the people with blood pressure do not know they have blood pressure, high blood pressure problems. Out of every per people that do know that they have like blood pressure, maybe one person can control it. Because a lot of times they don't know how to control it, and they think they may be on medication, and they usually don't get tested as they should all the time. Now we ask ourselves, is high blood pressure a big problem? Yes, it's a major problem. Sometimes I hear people will say, well, I, my blood pressure is just a little high. A little high can kill you. If you have high blood pressure, you are eight times risk of stroke, three times risk of heart attack, five times risk of heart failure. If you have high blood pressure that you don't control, it affects the retina of your eye, so sometimes you'll get blurred vision, and then you wonder, why am I having a hard time seeing? You go to the doctor and he said, oh, you have high blood pressure. Your kidney gets affected. A lot of times you'll have problems with your kidneys and you go to the doctor and find out you have um, high blood pressure. Same thing with your pancreas. So as you know, we call um, the other thing for high blood pressure silent killer. Because as I mentioned before, that you usually don't know you have high blood pressure. Now, how do you know you have high blood pressure? How many of you here know you have high blood pressure? Two people? Wow, we're a healthy community. <laughs> now the, the numbers, you have to know the numbers of your blood pressure. The top, the top number is the pressure that's inside your heart pumping and into your vein. The bottom, which is 120, 120 and below is normal. The bottom number is 80 is when after the heart pumps, there's a resting period and that's the lower number. And 80 and below is good. Now, if you have a blood pressure of 140 over 90, and you get tested all the time, or the nurse in your church tests you and it's high like this, you definitely have a problem. You need to control it. If you have a blood pressure of 120 and over 80 or less, you're, you're good. Now we ask ourselves, what causes high blood pressure? How many of us 
have stomachs that look like this, raise your hand. <laughs> How many of us have stomachs that look bigger than this? Yeah, me too. Obesity is a problem with high blood pressure. If you have a lot of fat around your stomach, you're at risk for having a high blood pressure. If you eat a lot of salt, that's a problem too. In Japan, uh, they use salt for everything. A lot of the community, um, they put salt in everything. Fish, everything they eat. So about half, about half of the adult population has high blood pressure. And we ask ourselves, the Oriental Japanese people are small people, right? Well, it's because you don't have to be fat to have high blood pressure, but the salt intake and what you eat is a high problem. Smoking. Now, every cigarette you smoke makes your blood pressure high in 30 minutes. So if you smoke a pack, like my husband does, a day, your blood pressure is high the whole day. Alcohol and caffeine makes your blood pressure go high. Your arteries, of course, from all the fat that you eat. And if you don't uh, exercise, sometimes I tell my husband, we have to exercise, we have to go walk around. He goes, oh, I just worked the whole day. But that doesn't count, because you physically have to walk fast for at least 30 minutes to an hour a day. If you start with maybe one day a week, and you can two days a week, you're going the right way. Stress, we have a lot of stress in our lives. We have stress from many sources. My husband has stress from the evangelistic meeting because there's 12 nights and he has to feed 12 nights. But tonight, his sister, she's loving and she says, I'm going to feed, don't worry about it, Sam, just relax. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so now we ask ourselves, how do we, how do we control blood pressure? The thing about blood pressure is you can control it. It's not a disease that you catch, that you have to do much, but if you change your lifestyle, you can fix your blood pressure. First one is medication. Medication will treat the symptoms of your high blood pressure, but it will not cure. And so medication, only if you really need to, you can use it, but there's other things in your life you can do and not take the medication. How I many of you have that many bottles when you walk out of the doctor? The first way you can reduce uh, your blood pressure, you lose weight, of course. You control your eating. Moderation. Reduce salt. Sometimes we, just the salt, not putting salt in our food is not enough because a lot of times the food that we buy already has salt in there, so you have to be careful of the food that you buy. Uh, Jack in a Box, the 99 cent burger is very cheap. We feed the gaoyate that has a lot of salt in it. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese that we feed our kids. Um, just sauce that we buy. Pizza, the $5 Caesar's pizza has a lot of salt in it. So you just have to be careful. <laughs> we suggest that you read everything that you buy and it, and it shows on their total sodium. That's how much salt in, your, in the food that you eat. Recommendation, two grams per day and less. So if you can balance yourself and have two grams or less, good. Now if your kidneys are already bad or if you're on the dialysis, of course you cannot, you have to eat much less than that. So first thing is try to stop smoking. I know it's very hard to stop smoking, or try. Because it, not only does smoking affect your blood pressure, but everything else in your body. Try not to drink caffeine and alcohol. Reduce the fat in your eat. Pay attention to what you eat. Now tonight we're gonna have a great meal, so don't worry about it, but when you go home, <laughs> pay attention to the fat that you eat every day at home. What they want us to do is um, 
eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, things that are natural, things that you pick, things that grow on trees and stuff. It has low salt, low fat, high fiber. That's a great diet. If you can concentrate on eating most of this, this is great. And what I would suggest is start your kids when they're young and feed them these things when they grow up or carry this lifestyle forever. Increase your exercise 30 minutes a day, hour a day. This is important. Reduce your stress level. And I don't know, uh, there's a lot of things that can help us reduce stress, whether it's be pray or relax. Do whatever you need to do to reduce your stress. And sometimes a lot the the stress and the depression we feel in our life is hard work to control. So we need some medication, but we are grateful for the for the Lord's um, good word that He gives us through the Bible and through our teachings. And if we can listen to those things and follow those things, I think our life will be much easier. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. And so this is the end of my uh, 10 minute presentation on blood pressure, and um, if you have any questions, please feel free to talk to me later. Thank you so much.